guys, it's me, Arthur, and you're watching How to Draw Creepy Creatures. Now, um, if you watch my previous videos, you'll know that uh, January is going to be all Japanese month. And I decided to do a really iconic one from Japanese mythology, uh, Kisune. Now, for those of you who don't know what that is, Kisune is Japanese for fox, but it also, it usually refers to a fox that has lived to be a thousand years old. And it's believed that when the fox achieves this, it becomes a semi-divinity called Kisune. Anyway, uh, they look like normal foxes, except they have the ability to shape-shift, fly, turn invisible, possess people, cast illusions, all that sort of stuff. Kind of like, a, they've often been compared to European fairies in some way, kind of like they're Japan's equivalent. And the older a Kisune gets the more powerful it becomes and it grows another tail each time it gains a new power and the maximum amount of tails it can have is nine tails now the white kisune are the most well known and these are trickster beings they are thought to sometimes be dangerous because they like to pull pranks on humans however there are also black gold and red kisune these are all uh servants of the gods so they're thought to be good but we're gonna do a white kisune well I'm not going to color it, so you can't really tell, but I imagine it's doing a white kasune, so. Uh, basically, just do like the shape of a fox, except they're usually shown standing bipedally. Right now we got the basic skeletal shape. Let's add the muscle now. Now let's erase some of this and work on the finer detail.
All right, now that we got the basic sketch done, let's do some of the shading. Now, we're gonna do something a little bit different where I usually shade from the top, but since he's holding a lantern, I'm gonna use this as the primary light source. Alright, now let's do some of the, uh, oh, actually. There we go. Alright, now let's do some of the finer details. Alright, sign off with your artist mark. And you have just drawn Kisune. Can you see the face there, guys? Alright, like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Remember that uh, January is going to be all Japanese month. However, if you have any uh, suggestions of creatures that you want me to draw, Japanese related or otherwise, you can just leave it in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. Also, I have a Patreon page and my uh, email, both of which you can find in the description. And anybody who finishes the lesson on the show and likes to show off your artwork, you just send it to me at my email. As long as you include your written permission, I'll show it off in the show to your names. Everybody knows that you did it. Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and goodbye.